Hey folks, Turbine Guy back at you. And if you'll remember, I purchased one of these Alico 400 watt 12 volt wind turbines made in China off of Amazon. And it showed up a couple of days ago and I'm ready to unbox it. So why don't you uh, hang out and see what happens when we open this. Now one of the major things I'm worried about is that I read online, many of these come damaged right out of the box. So we're gonna see if this one's damaged and then we're gonna take a look at the rest of it. We go. All right. Well, time to breathe some Chinese air. Here we go. All right. Well, first and foremost, we see uh, the bolts. Looks like some mounting bolts, big ones, for uh, mounting at the base, at the flange. Some smaller ones, which are most likely for mounting the blades on. All right, we'll put that aside. It comes with its own user manual. You'll notice a little ball goes on top. Now, hold on here. That says ball, and I don't see no ball. Maybe there's one in there. We'll have to look further and see. Page real quick. That's in English. That's good. Gives you the specs. Gives you a setup. And how to install it and all that fun stuff. Let's pull this baby out. And assume the weight's going to be down on this end. Because this is where the uh, generator is. You see right here? Leco wind turbine, rated power 400, 12 volts, 26 kilograms. Not sure what that is off the top of my head, probably somewhere 50, 60 pounds. And uh, ready to go. Although I don't see any certifications on it. Oh, look at this. So already we got an issue. This thing looks like it's got one set screw and it came loose so we'll have to take a look at that all right now we got the three wires coming out the bottom and these are not very big wires probably about 14 gauge not very big but i suppose uh proper for this setup Let's see what else we got under more of the packing. Uh-huh, now here's the blades. Got three of them. Seems like stuck together. Which they were of a sort. Four holes. Three holes. That must be, you got three on the bottom. Four right on top. If you look, it actually doesn't quite fit. So we're gonna have to put this together and bend them in when we do. We pull the last two out, and if you notice, these come to a nice fine point on the one side, and they're thicker on the other, kind of like an airplane wing. And that's the whole point, is to use the theory of lift to get it to go. Last but not least, is there anything else in here? No, so the product did not come as advertised. It was a different unit with the ball on top. Actually, if we look from this angle right here, bring the camera right to where I am, we can see that this is damaged. Look how this guy is sticking out and how bent this guy is. So this did receive damage during the transport. A yep, little bit there, that's from the factory. Let's roll it over, see if we can spot any more. Nope, I don't see any more. Mainly this top of the uh, Savonius blade is damaged. And just so you all know, this is the generator. And you always need to look at the size of a generator to figure out how much power you're gonna get. The bigger the generator, the more power, the smaller, the less power. So this is where the generator is located. 
See. You can hear that spinning. Feels like maybe two bearings. I can't tell because the pole is tucked way in there. Way in there. Well, she seems to spin freely. That's not loose. So the two items we found were the damage on top and the loose part. And I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that and see if I can get it to tighten down or not. All right, now I'm ready to put this thing together. And the first thing I wanted to see was, is this thing just loose up here or does it have an issue? And so I got myself the right size Allen wrench there. Fits in and that sucker's tight. Try it again. Oh, she moved a little bit there. Now oh, it's a little better. I guess we got some uh, factory issues and, and there's only one on here. I, I would have liked to have two like they've got here. They've actually got three on this part. If you want to come show it, Kaler. They've got three on this one, but the one with the blades that do all the work, they've only got one set screw. And to me, that's a little bit uh, under engineered right there. So next thing we're going to do is I don't know if they're lined up or not, which is always a problem. We're going to try putting one of these guys on. We'll just start off at the top because that's where I am. hard to tell where they want these washers let me look at the directions quick see what they say there we go they don't say anything there nothing there nothing there they do not tell you where they want the washers and you know it's hard to say where they want them on the top or the bottom I, you know I'm gonna put two of each but thinking they might would rather have them on the top given that we're screwing into aluminum there Myself my handy dandy crescent hammer. All right, let's go do the bottom. Okay, now as you can see, actually got a little bit of an issue here. This is not a very nice fit. So this is gonna be a little bit of a struggle, I bet. Yeah, that was a little bit of a struggle. it in with this guy yep. so I actually had to drive them in because they were off a little bit oh, now it's a little grouchy of course 
I'm gonna get out. It's a tight fit under here. That is for sure. that one so we gotta go in again all right that's one in all right well I'm gonna do the other two and uh, I'll be right back All right, well, I got the turbine assembled. It seems to spin okay. Just want to run over a few issues. I got some scrapey markies up here on this blade. A little beat up. As we noticed, this part's bent. And that was loose. And it's holding now, but that leaves me a little concerned for when the thing's spinning in a wind. Is it going to hold then or what's going to go on? And, then, you know, the interesting thing is, this is what I bought. And this is what I got. Where's my ball? Where's my fancy decorative thing? Oh, part of why I wanted to buy this was because I would have one with the spike ball on top. But I guess not. So there you go, folks. Alico, 400 watt wind turbine, unboxed and ready to go.